Blue's Daylight. I kind of wanted to document how I'm doing this for anybody who hasn't done this kind of thing before. This is going to be my shower or the railing for my shower curtain, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this screw that I have in a piece of an end of in a piece of string, put it back in the corner. I'm going to measure the distance from there to the inside. So I did that, pulling my finger there to keep my distance. I'm going to go out and I'm going to grab my pencil and I'm going to tie it right to that point. Did that and I've cut the string off and now I'm going to go ahead and set my pencil there. Well, I'm going to let go of the camera while I'm doing this. But anyways, I'm going to double check my distance here. If it's off by a little bit, I don't care. That's not really what I'm checking. And uh, see how far this goes. So I realized as I'm getting ready to start um, that this is not a real circle. This actually curved in further. So this point out here is further away from that corner than that point out there is, which if I looked really carefully, I probably would have noticed by observation, but I didn't. Which means I'm going to have to bring the first attachment point in closer. I'm still going to mark this furthest point. What I'm basically going to do is I'm going to do the opposite of what I've done before, and this is going to take a little longer. I'm going to mark a furthest point out there, um, and then I'm going to bring it into here. And as far as the length of the string, and I'm gonna mark that point and that point, and then I'm gonna probably I might do another one part way, but uh, and then just curve between those points. So this is gonna make it a little bit more interesting, but we'll see how it goes. Pain in the butt, but uh, so there's one mark right there at the center screen. There is mark number two right on the center screen. There's a center mark, center screen. We got the pair to mark number two, and the pair to the first mark. So it's, it's going to be an interesting curve. Now I'm probably going to sort of map out with the string first, just to get an idea of length, and then we'll go from there. It's going to be a little hard to show while I'm holding the camera, but for those, because I meant this for people who have never done anything like this before more than those who know more than me, which is pretty much everybody. The way that I approximate distance with the string, and I would say I was probably within about half an inch. I was maybe a little long, which is always easier. Better to be long than short. And so I held one end of the string here, and I did this with another longer piece of string. Then I held the second piece here. The key thing that I want to show you is what I did, and this is a little hard for as far as eyeing things I meant, but once I got the string up there, if I can show it, still holding straight across, I let it loop down a little bit to approximate the curve between the two points as close as I could. And I did that all the way along. And then once I had that string, I just took my uh, handy dandy little dollar store tape measure that I use for this kind of stuff because it's small and easy to hold on to. And that, you know, say like this was my stopping point, grab the uh, tape measure like so along the stopping point. And then just with your other hand, again, this is going to be very difficult to show this way. If I want to keep doing stuff like this, I'm going to have to get like a GoPro or something. <laughs> um, Alrighty, I'm just making this worse. So hopefully at least uh, some people who know more than me find this entertaining. Alright, so and then, you know, you just take the two together like that. So I'm holding string there. Got string along the tape, and I measured out that distance. Then with this stuff, this was pretty easy to measure it out along because I can literally just take the tape measure, hook it onto one end, and then hook it onto one end, and then drag it around the loop. And of course, the end just stayed put. Measured out 63 inches, cut it off. This does have a metal core. So I cut it off with a set of tin snips you could use. Um, a hacksaw, I saw somebody said that they've used with this before. And I think this might actually be a little long and I'll end up trimming it. But for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and take my drill. I'm gonna drill holes for starting the screws. I'm gonna get the first three up. I'm gonna start running this through there, see what it looks like, and adjust my other points where I'm gonna put the other ones just to be safe. I uh, have all these in now. I think the length is just about good. I have to put an end cap on here. I've got my string, which that is looking good in general. Not necessarily perfect, but pretty gosh darn close. 
So I feel like uh, my current's going to fall right about where I want it. Uh, it's going to make the shower overall feel a little bit smaller. And in the long run, I might decide to actually put the curtain rod a little bit further out. Unfortunately, I'm kind of limited there. Um, but, you know, this is the way of this. I can always change everything and anything that I want to. So for now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and use my uh, drills over there. I'm going to put a second hole in each of these points, attachment points there, going through those in so that these hold like that. And I don't think I actually even need to attach any more. I think this will work pretty well. Then I can pull this out, put all these on there, put the end caps on, snap it back in because it snaps in and out. Well, let's see. Good one to show you. I guess probably the end one will be easiest. Basically, all you have to do is press in like that, and it presses out because of this. Because of how this little slider here works, and you probably didn't see any of that because it all moved. But, anyways, so I'll get that. So once again, I went through and I pre-drilled with my other drill, and then I tightened these down before removing this. Now I'm going to pull it out. I'll tighten up the screws that are under it that are hidden, and then uh, I'll put it back. I wanted to put these second screws in though before I did that just to make sure that these are held in exactly the spot where I have them. So, all accomplishments, right? Those are on there. Now I just have to attach the shower curtain, which I forgot to get ringed for. I might tie it up there with some string just to test it out, but I'll have to get some rings to go between that and the actual curtain. Which is going to be a little interesting because they're going to have to be specific size to do that probably get aluminum or something maybe stainless steel so all right so that is up now and that is what that looks like and hopefully i did take a saw and cut these down because these things were much bigger than i wanted them to be since i wanted that to go all the way to the edge but uh that's the only alteration i really did to those and it really wasn't that difficult because they're pretty soft plastic so all right there's that. <laughs> I think this was string. I know. Uh, I'm going to have to find the, what you call it, the proper things for that. But for now, uh, it works. As far as I just want to hang the curtain out because, of course, it's a plastic curtain. It smells horrible. And I just want to double check the size and if I'm going to have to trim it or anything. I think it'll be okay. It'll be obviously a little wrinkled up, but I like the way that works. And I like this concept for shower curtain. I think that's going to be really sharp and work quite well once I get the uh, rings for it. So I'm pretty happy with that.